you guys have been balling. You you knew the program. You've been around it before. Mm. Went away and came back. When you came back to the group, was it just like old times? Yeah, man, it was old times, man. It was nothing but love. Uh, the guys just uh, was just like, you know what? Man, it's time to go get it again, you know. And that's exactly what it was. Uh, nothing but love. Uh, a whole bunch of text messages from the guys from the gang, and uh, man, and shit, we're here. Well, what, what it was, was it was scary hours for everybody else. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, wait, definitely. wait, they 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 replaced him with Sean, and when now, now they went and got him back. Got him back. Thanks. So so what was it like? What was the biggest thing that you feel, you know, changed or improved, um, as far as when you left and you you finally came back? Oh yeah, that's that's easy. Uh, what I tell the guys all, all the time, it was just like one thing I loved about when I left and came back. I had, to, I had to learn more nuances of what they created within the offense. Mm. Um, it could be one thing because, you know, going to the Grey Cup uh, three years in a row, we could still have the same offense from when we was uh, in uh, 2019. But it's evolved. It's different. The coaches want to get better. The players want to take on more. And, uh, man, that's what I love. Everybody here want to get after it. We got dogs all across the board. And uh, no one's complacent. We, uh, we're chasing greatness. And, uh, man. That's what that's that that's that's uh the one thing that uh, stood out. Love it. How's your role evolved? Cause you come into the league, people are like, oh man, he'll be like a gadget guy, but running the entire route tree, moving you around, getting different matchups, still handing it to you. What's it been like for you to see your growth within the offense? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I think it just can, comes down to just being on the same page as Zach. I mean, you know, the more trust he he gets with you, the you know, the more routes he wants you to run. So. I've just always been open to, to learning and growing and just, you know, kind of adding more to my game, you know, seeing how K-Law plays, seeing how Dalton sees the field, even Sheed and Wally. I mean, we all kind of bounce off each other. So, you know, just picking and choosing what we want to do to evolve our own game. I mean, you know, it just kind of takes it to the next level. You, know, you can just, around you can just stop that. I've always been open. And you didn't need the rest of it. You just said, I've always been open. <laughs> hey, man, I just, I just love growing and adding pieces to my game and just, you know, having such a – you know, well-rounded receiving core, you know, to work off and bounce off each other. I mean, and, and we're all close too, you know what I mean? It's no competitiveness. I mean, we know if the ball ain't coming to us, it's going to go to somebody who's going to make a play. And, you know, if we got to get somebody else open, we're going to do that too because at the end of the day, we all want to win. You know, we're all part of the same goal. We want to be at the Great Cup. We want to be here. You know, this is what we work for, you know, so – that's kind of how I see it. You know, I, I don't like to keep secrets. I want everybody to be on the same page as, so, you know, we could just go out there and we can just be as one, really. Selflessness plays a tremendous role. Um, it brings me back to when I had a big, a big game uh, against BC. And um, one thing that Coach O'Shea said to me and also the media was, uh, not every game is going to look like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, me... You know, I'm a, I'm a vet now, so I understand that. You know what I mean? Maybe when I was young, K-Law, I wouldn't have understood that. I'm like, man, I'm trying to eat every game. Like, you know what I mean? I'm that guy. I'm a Throw dog. the ball to Come me. On. We going we gonna to get it. But um, you really have to understand that because at the end of the day, we got a great running back. We got a great receiver core. We have so many guys that can make plays that once you start getting into your feelings, that's going to take away from the key goal that we – sat down and actually was like, what do we want to do? What's the goal that we want to achieve together? It's the Grey Cup, you know what I mean? So within games and weeks, you know, sometimes Nick going to be hot. We going to feed Nick. He getting it done. Sometimes Sean going to get it done, you know what I mean? My man, she going to get it done. Wally going to get it done. Brady going to get it done. So, you know, at the end of the day, you have to sometimes have to take a seat back and just, you know, your role has to be selfless and – have to know that it's pertaining to the bigger picture, man. Yeah. Not every time it's going to be your week, you know, especially here in Winnipeg. And I knew that coming back. Every time I knew at Edmund, Edmund, in, in uh, Edmonton, I had to get the ball at least 10 times a right, game if right, we right. wanted to win, you know what I mean? Game it's Winnipeg. a different ball game, and I love it, man. I love playing here with all my guys, this family, and, uh, and it's nothing but love. Oh.